will say is her mother is balanced and walking has gotten better after brain surgery. Nikki's twin sister Bribella previously shared that their mother's recovery process will be about six months to a year. Nikki Bella's mother is on the road to recovery after undergoing brain surgery late last month. The pregnant Toda Bella's 36 shared a health update with her followers on Thursday, detailing all of the improvements from Katie Collis, Lauren Nadis has been making. We had two amazing visits with my mom. Her balance and walking has got better. Her speech has gotten better, even though her face hasn't yet. With all of your love, support, and prayers, you have given her so much hope and strength to have a full recovery. She wrote alongside a family photo of herself, twin sister Bribella and their mother, with covering over one of her eyes. Kiki, you've got this. We love you so incredibly much, she added, using an affectionate nickname for her mother. Sharing the same photo, Katie noted how much the support of her two daughters has meant to her. Sitting here with my girls, appreciating all the love and support I have received from my husband, my family, my friends, the Bella Army, and the doctors at Maya, she wrote, adding that although the road ahead of me will be challenging, all of the love and prayers she received gives me the strength and hope to have a full recovery. Love you all, and thank you all so much. God bless. Nikki and Bree first revealed that their mother would be undergoing surgery last month, explaining that doctors had discovered a mass on her brain stern. While the surgery was successful, Katie's recovery process will be about six months to a year. Bree, who is also expecting her second child, said on Wednesday's episode of the Bella's podcast. Earlier in the episode, Bree said their mother was initially diagnosed with Bell's palsy for four months ago, explaining that the majority of her face was paralyzed with the left side. You started a lot in her eye and her mouth and her forehead. A couple of weeks ago, Katie's condition worsened and Bree said she woke up to her whole face being numb. Katie's husband, John Lorinatus, took her to the hospital where doctors discovered that there was a mess on our mother's brain stem as big as blueberry. Katie's diagnosis was also captured on camera. My mom really wanted the cameras to roll because obviously we all like know what my mom was like. Think of how many people out there think they have Bell's palsy and they have certain symptoms and the doctors don't give them MRIs on their brain. And then they find out that they have only these growths, them, tumors, or cancer, and it's so late in the game, Nikki added. Although their mother is just at the start of her recovery, her daughters feel fortunate that she's on the right track. It's been so nice just to like see our mom to be our mom again, Bree said during the podcast episode, adding that Katie is still very beat up. We're just so happy that she has light at the end of the tunnel, she said.